The vice chairman of China's Central Military Commission, General Fan Changlong, is continuing his five-day visit to the United States, and the general is in the process of making a number of important stops around the country. Our correspondent Roy Rattenberg has been following his uh, latest movements. So far, General Fan has visited three U.S. military bases in Texas and California, where he also toured an American naval supercarrier, the USS Reagan. On Wednesday, General Fan, quote, observed soldiers at Fort Hood, a base some 200 kilometers southwest of Dallas. Now, General Fan is a familiar face to many in the U.S. military and government. He's met with several of them over the years, most recently in Beijing in May. On Thursday, General Fan is due to arrive in Washington, where he'll meet with the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter. The two are expected to attend a signing ceremony at the Pentagon. And on Friday, General Fan will visit the National Defense University, where he's scheduled to sign a joint U.S.-China military agreement. He's also expected to meet with officials from the White House and State Department. Representatives from both countries told me they welcome the visit. Mail to mail relations is a very important aspect of the overall relationship between China and the United States. It will serve to enhance the uh, mutual trust between not only between our two militaries and also between our two countries. Wherever we can make an improvement in the relationship between Beijing and Washington, we will do that. So the visit's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. Want to make sure we have more and more visits. But recent tensions between Beijing and Washington over Chinese activities in the South China Sea threatened to cast a shadow over the talks. The U.S. says it is concerned about any movement aimed at changing the status quo in the waters. China insists the sea is part of its sovereign territory, and its activities there fall within Chinese jurisdiction. Well, that issue aside, both China and the U.S. say this visit will lay more groundwork for two upcoming important events a high level diplomatic exchange scheduled for later this month, and a visit to the U.S. by the Chinese leader Xi Jinping in September. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.